Hey, what is going on YouTube family and welcome back to a new video. My name is Anthony Llanos and in today's video I'm going to share with you the exact process of how I took my channel from zero views all the way to a hundred thousand views and over nine thousand watch hours. So if this is something that interests you, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's jump into the content. And the reason why I want to share this with you is because it's been a long journey. It, creating this content uh, constantly and actually growing a community of people that are related to my niche. It's been difficult and I'm sure you, you're gonna have a lot of struggles as well. So in this video, I'm gonna share everything. So if you're a small YouTuber and you're trying to grow your channel because probably you just wanna get monetized, you wanna start making some revenue from YouTube or also you wanna do it as a hobby but you wanna grow your channel. So this is gonna be the perfect video for you. So first of all, you need to understand how YouTube makes their money. So the way that YouTube makes their money is gonna be from, from advertisers, from ads, and they make money from memberships why i'm saying this is because ads is basically the biggest portion that how youtube make their money the advertisers so the advertisers are going to pay youtube to show their ads to a specific audience right so why i want to say this i'm going to elaborate a little bit more on that later on but just hear me out on this and also the, the memberships. So basically YouTube has something which is called YouTube Premium. And that's basically a, a way that they have to charge a monthly membership to their audience. And so they don't see ads in their videos or anything like that. So you need to go keep in mind that the two ways that they make money is going to be in those two ways. So going back to ads, which is going to be basically the way that they make money, is going to be, uh, and that's basically going to determine which audience should you be in. And why I'm saying that is because there's going to be one, one, one thing in, in YouTube which is called CPM. And basically what CPM means is, so a cost per mile means how, how much are you getting paid for a thousand views. So why this is important because the niche that you're going to be in is going to determine how much do you get paid per 1000 views. And why I'm saying that is because at the end of the day, uh, I'm sure most of you uh, want to create videos and want to start getting some AdSense revenue or AdSense some money from YouTube. And this is something that you should understand from the get go from the beginning when you start making videos. So make sure you understand CPM because at the end of the day, once you start getting paid, because now you need 1,000 subscribers to start getting paid from YouTube and over 4,000 watch hours in order to qualify for monetization. So you need to qualify for that before you start getting paid. But the niche, it has to do a lot with you because at the end of the day, there are gonna be a lot of people that make millions of views, but they only get paid like $60, $70 for a million views. Why is that? It's all about the niche and the cost per mile. Let me give you an example. So let's say you're gonna start making videos about pranks, uh, things that you do in your daily life, or anything related to kind of like entertainment in a sense. So the pranks, uh, for what I heard, because I don't have a prank channel, they usually have a CPM of <laughs> one, less than $1, less than $1, per a thousand views. One dollar over a thousand views. The reason for that is gonna be about ads. Why is that? Probably you can understand it better in this sense. So if I'm watching a video about how to get better, how to make money, how to do real estate, how to do, how to become an entrepreneur, Keep this in mind, these people are willing to spend money in their education. So most of the advertisers are gonna sell their programs online that are gonna be worth thousands of thousands of dollars, maybe one thousand, two thousand dollars. The reason why I'm telling you that is because I have bought programs over seven thousand dollars, over two thousand dollars, seven hundred dollars, is because I like investing in my education. The average people they don't like doing that. They like uh, spending time in their phones. They like watching YouTube videos without the need of too much educating them, them, themselves. So you need to understand that. The advertisers, which is gonna be here on the top, are willing to pay more money for people who want to educate themselves. So 
this is gonna be really important because who's watching a prank, a, the, ma the majority of people who are watching pranks all day, who are watching blogs all day, they don't like, I would say, uh, I would say that they don't like investing too much in themselves, so they are not willing to buy a, a program over the one thousand dollars that teaching to teach them entrepreneurship. And how do you know which are you on? What do you like? Just watch your uh, your YouTube watch history. That's gonna tell you what type of videos you like watching. That's that's gonna be something really interesting because it's gonna determine your niche based on what you already know and what do you like, so you can start making those videos. So let's say on the, so this is gonna be so, something really important because if you are making a prank videos, if you want doing blogs, most likely you're gonna get paid one thousand one one dollar for a thousand views. So meaning if you're gonna get uh, if you're gonna ha if you're gonna make a hundred thousand views, a uh, what you're gonna be expecting to get paid is gonna be less than a hundred dollars. And keep in mind that's a lot of work. So if you're gonna make YouTube videos, make sure those are gonna be. Uh, educational YouTube videos because in the educational videos the CPM is gonna be a lot higher it's gonna be uh, I would say uh, a little bit more than than five to six six dollars in educational videos traveling videos and anything related to education that you're teaching people how to do something and recently I was watching a guy which is called Graham uh, Stefan he talks about a lot about real estate and the reason why he talks about real estate and he is kind of like in the fina finances industry his CPM is around $20 like like 16 to $20 uh, how do I know that because he was sharing the amount of money that he makes on YouTube and in one year with a couple of million views he made a, around a hundred thousand a hundred thirty nine thousand dollars in one year it is because he is in the education niche so he teaches people how to do something and that's something that you need to understand before moving forward what type of videos do you want to make what type of niche do you do you want to get in okay so let's start with the first step so with the first step you need to understand what is going to be your niche and I'm gonna share a personal story of me and why I want you to understand what is your niche when I started doing YouTube videos I started doing anything like I, I didn't know what niche I was gonna be on I didn't know what videos some, some, someone was gonna like. So what I realized is that I decided to just start making random videos. I started making videos about marketing, Facebook ads, uh, Instagram ads, how I, uh, I started doing some videos about Instagram, Facebook, how to do social media marketing. And what I realized is that even though some people were watching it, my channel, the views weren't growing as much because it's going to be a very competitive niche. So uh, I started doing videos about not only that, I started doing videos about social relationships. And also I started doing some videos about traveling. So I just left it there for a couple of months. And then after five months, uh, just leaving my videos, I started seeing a grow in, in some of the videos. And the videos that actually a lot of people were watching was, was the videos about traveling. So I decided to just concentrate on traveling and my channel exponentially started to grow a lot more. So I've been traveling for a long time and I just, kept all these files in my hard drive so I decided to just basically put this all this footage that I had in utilization so this is gonna be my first tip for you is understand your niche and know what is gonna be your audience so first one this is gonna this is gonna be very very important when you're starting a YouTube channel so without a niche it's gonna be really hard for you to start ranking for videos so the second of the second thing about this is that after you understand your after you understand your niche you need to know you need to understand who is watching so with your niche you're gonna start getting some traction you're gonna start getting some people that are gonna be uh, in love or they like the content related to a specific niche. So if I like traveling, my community is gonna be about traveling. And uh, you need to understand who's watching. So you need to understand that, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, when you decide to make a video, uh, you need to understand that it's not about you. 
And that's something that most people don't understand because they say, oh, I'm just going to start a YouTube channel and people are going to start me watching. Maybe your friends, maybe your family is going to watch you. But the point of making YouTube videos is so other people can watch you that they don't know you. So if that's something that you want, I would say that in order to start making good videos that are people are going to search you in YouTube, you need to know who is watching. Personally, I don't rely in my friends, family to be watching my content because they like they like different things that I do. So, for example, a for example, a lot of friends they say, "Oh, why you don't do uh, videos about a uh, challenges, pranks, and etc., etc., etc." And I'm uh, the only reason why I don't do anything related to that is because I already tested what works for me. And traveling and videos about traveling is what my audience want. And then I decided to just concentrate in making content related to traveling. You need to understand that because who's watching is going to be very, very important for you. Okay. And that comes to my to my other point is going to be is that even though you know who's watching, you, you need to know how big is your audience. Because if you want to start making YouTube videos, uh, you need to understand that unless you are someone famous, I'm talking about like Will Smith, that he already has his audience because he is been making movies for a long, long time. Uh, it's going to be easy for him for other people to watch his content because people love his personality. A lot of people know him. But when you start in a YouTube channel, I think the worst thing that you can do is gonna be start a blog channel. Starting a blog channel is not gonna be good because uh, first of all, uh, who's searching for your YouTube? Like my daily routine. Like, uh, what do I do to go to the grocery, uh, to the grocery store? Uh, I went to the Central Park. Like, nobody's going to be searching for that. So you need to understand that YouTube is going to be a big search engine. So if YouTube is a big search engine, you need to know that people are going to be looking for a specific videos. Have you ever heard the term of YouTube it, Google it? So that's going to be the same thing. You need to understand. You need to make videos about what people are going to watch. In this case, if you really want to grow on YouTube, you need to un you need to do educational videos. Educational videos. Educational videos is basically anything that can teach someone something. So if your niche is about a uh, marketing, uh, all the content has to be about marketing and all and it comes to another point is that if you want someone to watch your videos, you need to be kind of like the master or be better than average than other people because you don't want to teach social media marketing when you barely have any clients. If there is a saying that it goes, uh, the blind is leading the blind. Because if you don't have results, if you haven't done it yourself, like why are you gonna teach it to someone that I doesn't know? You need to have the results first. So personally speaking about me, when I when I talk about traveling, when I talk about traveling, I talk about things to do around the world. I talk about guides, so complete travel guides that is gonna save people time, it's gonna save people money, it's gonna give them a little bit of the background of a specific country and that's the reason why people subscribe to my channel and they share my content so if you're doing a blog it, just keeping this in mind who's gonna share your content besides your mom besides your dad besides someone that already knows you like I don't think nobody's gonna share your content because your content is not searchable and is not related to a big variety of people so if the big ticket takeaway from this video is gonna be don't do blogs like it doesn't make sense if you're trying to grow a channel it has to be educational and that's going to be bring me to my other point is going to be the topic volume so you don't want to even though you're going to be making educational videos you need to understand that if you're going to make an educational video you need to know about the volume of searches that you're going to find in a specific topic. If you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna show you in a video right here on the screen so you can understand which tool I'm gonna to be using. Let me jump in my computer so I can show you really quick how to do it. 
Okay, guys, so now that you already know about all the topics, let's just elaborate a little bit more on topic volume so you can understand more. Okay, so when you're going to go to YouTube and you're, you already know what you want to be shooting in terms of the title, so you need to go to the search bar and see how, what is the volume of searches that you're going to get with that monthly. And in order to see that, you need to download one, one extension that is going to be for Google Chrome. So I will strongly recommend you to go here and then you're going to type keywords everywhere extension right here it's pretty easy to install I don't think I need to make a video about that so you're gonna go here and pretty much is gonna have the step-by-step -step in how you can download and how can you uh, use keywords everywhere to actually see the amount of search volume that's gonna be in a specific topic. So now that you already download, downloaded this extension now you're gonna be able to see how much a, can you rank for a specific keyword so let me give you an example so when I type Cuba a, you see right here uh, on top of the screen that I have around uh, like more than 1 million monthly searches on YouTube and that's good because you know that there is going to be attraction for a specific topic so the best thing uh, I will, uh, the best thing that I can recommend you is that try to narrow it down to a much narrower a narrow topic because it's going to become easier for you to kind of like rank for something small rather than aiming too high that the competition is overwhelming and it's going to be hard for you to rank so now that you know cuba so let's say you're going to go to cuba and then you want to talk about things to do so now as you can see uh, the the competition is a little bit more smaller so now you have four thousand monthly searches which I think is perfect if you want to rank for a topic. So now let's talk about nutrition in case that you want to get in the fitness world. So in case that you want to talk about a, what is the best food for muscle building for diabetic patients, diabetes, high blood pressure. As you can see, they have some searches and then you can see, you can go and I definitely encourage you to go and watch all the videos because it's going to help you to understand what are they talking about in the video. So that's going to bring me back to my next point. Okay, so now that you understand the topic that you want to make, you need to know is how much value can you add to that video that you already watched and you can make it even better. Because you don't want to just be repetitive and just repeating the, the same things that other, other people said in the video and just thinking that that's, that video is going to grow. You need to add something extra to the to the video that somebody, somebody else already made. Let me give you a couple of examples. So uh, when I'm making a video, let's say I went to Cuba, I want to make a video about uh, uh, tips about Cuba. So uh, what do you want to do is that you're going to watch all the videos related to a specific keyword, uh, things to do about it, things to do in Cuba, complete travel tips, and then you're going to watch all of them. So when you watch all of them, then you're going to know what are the things that I can add to make that video even better. So for other people, it's going to be easier to find my video and to actually share it. And so people can start watching because you just don't want to make videos that someone already made it and there is no added value whatsoever. So make sure to add add more value okay so now that you know no uh, number four which is going to be add more value let's talk about number five so once you shoot your content and you already know what you need and you already know the topic you know about the search volume you know how how, how many things you want to add to the video so now it's going to come down to editing editing a uh, personally is not too hard it took me a couple of hours to understand how to edit my first software for editing was iMovie so i started everything with iMovie and to be honest I pretty much enjoy doing it, but you need to understand that it doesn't have to be fancy edits. It doesn't have to have a 
crazy amount of quality, like I'm talking about 4K, 6K or up, it has to be good enough. It has to, the quality of the video has to be good enough. People are looking for is value in the video. They don't care about fancy edits. It's fine if you can get it, but it's all about how much value can you add to the video. And as long as you have a 1080p, which is gonna be the resolution of the video, which is gonna be HD, and you're gonna have some clear audio as well. That's gonna be the thing that people are looking for. So make sure to know that, uh, which is gonna be the other point, is that it's gonna come down to the editing. Yes, you can add, you can learn how to edit, which is which is pretty much easy. Uh, let me talk about a little bit more about editing and shooting. Editing or filming videos. There is gonna be a basic, basic understanding of filming videos. And I think the biggest takeaways is gonna be have good audio when you're recording something and make sure your camera is someone is stabilized because what I can tell you is that people don't like is shaky videos. Like people, videos are all over the place and you can make your audience dizzy. And I feel like that's gonna be the biggest takeaway in filming and editing videos. Okay, so now that you know that, let's jump into the sixth way and the sixth way that you should uh, you should do your videos in order to achieve thousands of views and uh, thousands of watch hours. Okay, let's talk about number number six. Is gonna be about what is the thumbnail. The thumbnail is gonna determine the amount of views that you're gonna get in your video, and also the the content in the video is what is gonna determine how long people will stay watching your videos. And just keep this in mind because I forgot to mention, uh, when you are making a video, make sure the video goes straight to the point. You saw the way I make this video. In the beginning, I started with something like, what is going on YouTube family? My name is Anthony Llanos and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, and keep this in mind, I just go right into the point in today's video, I'm going to talk about this, this and that because people don't like wasting time. They have thousands of videos that they can watch and they don't they don't really care about your stories unless they become a fan of yours. So if you if you are making videos, you need to understand is that when you're filming a video, get straight to the point. Get it straight to the content and that's gonna help you to create more videos that people are gonna watch, okay? So number six is gonna be about your thumbnail. Thumbnails are gonna be very important for you because uh, the thumbnail is gonna determine who's gonna click your video. And what I really found interesting is that the thumbnail doesn't have to be anything fancy, but it has to be something related to your title or to whatever you're trying to rank your video for. So uh, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show you in my computer how I do my thumbnails on their I would say under five minutes is is simple, easy, and it's something that is really is it, it doesn't take you too too much time. And something that you need to understand about psychology and people is that people love faces. As long as your thumbnail is gonna have someone's faces, someone faces smiling, uh, amazed, so like it's expressing some type of emotion related to the keyword that you're trying to rank to the title. Uh, it's gonna get clicks. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna show you in my computer how I do uh, thumbnails for other people that I work for and it's really easy so it doesn't take more than five minutes like I said let me jump in my computer okay okay, now, okay guys now we are gonna be in my computer and let me show you how I'm gonna do a thumbnail under five minutes so right now it currently is uh, 9 15 so we're gonna start with a picture of someone's faces or someone like doing a gesture on the screen and right now I'm gonna work I'm gonna open a screen so you can see which I'm gonna pick and the reason why I'm picking this one. For example, this one is really good. This one is even better. So let me give you an example. So uh, you're gonna open up the, 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 the photo and then you're gonna go here. Uh, you're gonna crop it, make sure you crop it it's because I want this photo in a PNG format that it doesn't have any background whatsoever. So I can use the, the the photo of her only, of her face, of her gesture. I don't want any background. I want a, a transparent background on this. Okay, guys, so I think that's pretty much 
perfect as it is i can make it even better but just because of the sake of this video i'm just gonna keep that okay so then you're gonna go to a website which is called canva.com and then you're gonna open up an, an account with them it's completely free and then you're gonna get your custom dimensions which is gonna be 1280 by 720 which is gonna be the thumbnail size of a of a of a, of a video on YouTube so make sure you get those uh, measurement rights uh, and then the next one uh, I'm just gonna uh, upload the picture really quick the one that I created with her face and then upload it drag and drop and then I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna I can use a background and then this I just downloaded these pictures I have them in my desktop I just went to Google downloaded them and then just drag and drop the new picture and then I have her in here just uh, increase the size a little bit so she can be a predominant sub subject on the picture and as you can see that's looking pretty good and also what I definitely recommend you is if you can write something on the screen um, let me show you so you're gonna go to graphics you're gonna go to shapes and then you can go something like this you're gonna write something on the screen so it's gonna it's gonna show what are you gonna be talking about in the video it's pretty simple guys this is gonna be a process that it doesn't take more than five minutes I mean probably it's gonna take a little bit more I wanted to say five minutes for the sake of the video but uh, as you can see it doesn't take long just to finish a video like this and the thumbnail is really clean as you can see right there and then you're just gonna put it transparent a little bit and then you're gonna add some more extra shapes so you can you can add some text into it and as you can see those are gonna be attractive thumbnails that you can use for your videos and then you can just add some wording in there when it comes to thumbnails the your I think it should be very simple and uh, what I really like uh, about doing thumbnails is that it, it definitely t tells you a lot about your video what are you making with your video uh, personally when I'm doing like a thumbnail I like something that is big something that it, it, it can see it can be seen on a mobile device when you're scrolling down through the feeds especially because now people watch their YouTube videos only in their phones okay guys so the thumbnail is pretty much done I can make, make it even better by playing with the colors of her face because as you can see is a little bit like um, a like pale you can barely see her face because of the shadows but I can definitely make it even better uh, so by just going to the adjust section and then you can just increase a little bit of the brightness of her face so as you can see right here so she increased a little bit I'm gonna increase a little bit of, of the resolution on the picture so as you can see right now the thumbnail is looking much better than before uh, by just playing a little bit with the colors I added text and make sure whenever you see the thumbnail that your thumbnail is gonna be seen on a mobile device as you can see so I, I decided to make it smaller because that's kind of like, that's gonna be kind of like the size that you're gonna see on a mobile device so make sure you do something like that because when people are scrolling through the feeds like on the right section of the of the video right here people can see people can see the wording of the video so they're gonna see the, the, the thumbnail the title so make sure that, that that thumbnail is very clear so it tells people what are you gonna be talking about you can see some wordings uh, my uh, my uh, my rule of thumb will be that whenever you're making a, a thumbnail try to just include I would say like five six or uh, I would say between four to six keywords that's gonna be enough anything else more than anything more than that is gonna be very crowded in your thumbnail so as you can see right now uh, we finished this not in five minutes we finished this I would say in like seven minutes but it still was a doable time uh, it doesn't take too much time out of your, uh, out of your day it's fairly simple like I said
Okay, so now that you know about the thumbnails and how to make them, let's jump into the other point. So the next one is gonna be about, so the next one is gonna be after you upload your video, it's gonna be how can you make your video or your title video more catchy, more clickable, so can people can watch your videos uh, for that specific topic that you want to relate. So even though you want to, uh, you want to include the keywords uh, that you're trying to rank, I would definitely recommend you to add something extra that is gonna make them clickable. Let me give you an example. When I make videos about travel guides or anything like that, I, I, I'm gonna rank for a specific keyword. Let's say I'm gonna use a Cuba travel guide a 2018. So I'm gonna use something like Cuba travel guide and then untold tips. So basically what it makes catchy, the title is that untold tips, untold tips, is relating to something that is has it hasn't been said whatsoever so you want to make sure that you're going to use some some type of clickable titles like those and make sure that you're going to add some type of value so people are going to watch it and i'm telling you that this actually works like a charm because i've been using that technique for like all almost all of my videos i get forty thousand views a hundred thousand views in my youtube channel and it's pretty much it's all about time. You leave your, your your videos for like around month, one month, two months, or three months, and it's gonna be easy for people to search, click. And as long as you're gonna be following the same process that I'm showing you, it's gonna be pretty easy. So now that you know, now that you know about the thumbnails and the titles, uh, the next topic is gonna be about a uh, how can you make your description similar somehow to the title because when someone is searching a video uh, first of all they're gonna see the 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 thumbnail which is gonna be basically what is gonna get people interested on then they're gonna see the title which is basically what you what you're trying to rank for and then they're gonna see a small description under the title and then you want to make somehow a if the keywords in the description match with the keywords in the title is not only telling YouTube that the video is about a specific topic But you're enforcing that in the viewer and you're reinforcing that on YouTube as well. Okay number eight and then like I said, you're gonna have a compelling uh, And now let's talk about number nine and number nine is gonna be about a the specific keywords that you're gonna find under a video so you're gonna have your title which basically is the complete topic you're gonna have some keywords that you're gonna rank for and then you're gonna have the description which is gonna kind of like uh, describe what what is the video is going about and then under description you're gonna find a uh, tags the tags are gonna be some keywords that you want to rank for so the okay guys so as an example i'm gonna drag and drop one video so you can see the process that I take when I'm adding the tags to the video. Let me show you how to do it. So uh, once you are uploading your video uh, on the, the editing portion, once you upload your video, uh, you're going to have an option to add the title and you're going to have an option to add also the description as you can see. So and under that, you're going to find this section which is called tags. This is going to be very important. Many YouTubers say that it doesn't matter about the tags that you're going to find in the video. Personally, I still bring a lot of traffic from my tags because I'm able to see the statistics on the back end on my, on my, on my YouTube channel. So I see which keywords are bringing me the most traffic. Uh, let me give you an example. So let's, I'm just going to go back to YouTube. So if I'm uploading a video and this video is about, let's say, how to get more views on YouTube, right? YouTube. And then I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to write like a hidden secret. Hidden secrets. That's basically something like really, I would say, clickable that somebody is going to want them because people are curious and they want to see what you have to bring to the table so most likely i'm gonna get clicks on this video so and i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna watch and see who is using which keywords and then i'm gonna go here and as you can see this one it ha that has a lot of traction a lot of people are watching that so this one has 12,000 uh, views a uh, uh, monthly searches that people are still w w wondering about so basically I'm gonna go here to the channels that have that specific topic that I want to rank for 
and obviously I'm just gonna skip the ads and uh, you're gonna download two uh, extensions that are gonna be for Google Chrome and these two extensions are gonna be BeThyQ which is an extension for Google Chrome that allows you to see tags that, that gives you sometimes sometimes it gives you also the search volume of a specific keyword and then you're gonna download that to your Chrome extension you're gonna go here and the other one is gonna be TubeBuddy extension which is a, it's gonna it, it has the same purpose you can if you want to you can just download one of them you don't need the two of them but I just downloaded them because it's pretty much <laughs> I just wanted to have them in there okay so now when you go there right uh, usually a tip that I give you is that uh, just go uh, on a rampage just go like this just click 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 open tabs open tabs open tabs open tabs I would say the first ones because the first ones are usually the ones that are ranking the strongest on YouTube so you can kinda like simulate uh, what are they using for the thumbnails so when you're doing that it basically is gonna bring you to the channel you, you I'm, I'm sure you already have watched by this time like what are the things that are teaching and then you added the extra value like I said before so then you're gonna go down and as you can see right here they're gonna give you some tags on the on the on the side that they are using so I will definitely encourage you to go over them and see which one is gonna be the one that you can you think you're gonna rank the most uh, like I told you they each one is gonna have a number next to that so it the number basically what it means is that with this keyword is basically how they are ranking the most and this is this specific keyword is what is bringing them the most traffic to the YouTube channel so definitely encourage you to grab the number two three four and five and just add it to your tags uh, like you see right here how to get more views on YouTube how to get views on YouTube and then he's ranking for how to get more views on YouTube fast those are gonna be keywords that you want to use and then you're gonna go through every single channel uh, doing the same thing uh, so you can uh, it probably you have a keyword that you probably don't even know and then you're gonna see and then you're gonna say oh like I, I really like this keyword how to get more views for you for beginners that's those are gonna be actually a uh, keywords that people are searching for so you're just gonna go copy and then you're gonna go to the back end on your tag manager and then you're just gonna go paste and something that I found a uh, good uh, I still don't know uh, I'm not able to give you specific statistics about if this works or not and then usually what I do is that I add the title and and then after the title I add the YouTube the youtuber name that I I, I, I decided to take the tag from because I want to rank next to them which is going to be in the suggested area right here because i want people after watching this video most likely they're going to be interested in the same content related to the video so i want to put my video on the side and usually what i do is i copy the name like about this guy which is called think media and and most likely I've seen it that it works but I'm not able to give you strong statistics about, about that because some of the videos I saw it on on next on the side of the suggested area some of my videos are using as someone else's account so I can tell you that it worked for me so make sure you use that and then you're gonna just keep adding your tags and that's pretty much everything about tags I think by the end. so keep that in mind and the, the nine one is gonna be tags so now that you you know about tags, let's talk about time, and and I feel like time is gonna be the most uh, the best skill that you can have in YouTube because you need to be patient. Uh, I would say in an average, uh, I start getting traction in my videos between two months uh, after I uploaded the video to YouTube two months up to like three months so that's gonna be the time that you that's gonna be the amount of time that you're gonna be waiting to see which video is performing the best and then you can make related videos to the specific topic the specific subject and that's gonna be basically the the steps that I'm gonna be taking in my YouTube journey I would say on an average like the amount of time that it takes me making one video uh, after like doing all of this editing like uh, research 
uh, coming out with the topics uh, without no lie I think it's gonna be around I would say 20 hours to 30 hours making a good video uh, that I know is gonna go to YouTube for example something like like this we, where I'm making this video about specific uh, about things about uh, about this specific topic which about the topic of how I reached that amount of uh, the amount of subscribers that I did, the amount of, of watch time that I did. It basically took me hours of research, it struggles, try and test. Uh, making this video, if you add those hours that it, it took me to do this topic, I would say I would say like over a hundred hours I uh, spent learning, uh, creating. But it's just about learning experience. So what is, that's what I love about YouTube is that they open doors for you to become creative and to become somehow like um, knowledgeable in into the subjects that you want to to make about. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna put all the links to the to the tools that I use for this video on the description. So make sure to check those out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I'm gonna be sharing all these tips with you. So without further ado, I wanna thank you so much and don't forget to, if you love traveling, this is gonna be the perfect apparel for you. So you're also gonna find a link in the description that's gonna take you to my page, a merchandise. So without further ado, I just wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe one more time and I'll talk to you later, okay? Peace, thank you.